Before this video starts guys, if you haven't done so already, make sure to join our Discord server which you'll find a link to down in the description below. We'll be hosting a lot of paid executor giveaways including paid scripts on our Discord server so make sure you join. Of course if you do have any questions and you'd like to speak to me privately, you can also do that on our Discord server. Now let's get back into the video. Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be looking at the Delta Executor. I have previously made a video on the Delta Executor however a lot has changed since then so I do want to make an updated video and show you everything that has changed. Now Roblox has updated today so a lot of executors have stopped working soon they will be updated and of course they will be back up and running. So I have tested Delta and it is currently working they are really fast on the updates so I would highly recommend this executor it's completely keyless so you don't uh, you're not really required to do any sort of uh, further steps every time you do want to launch the executor again you simply just launch it click inject and of course it's up and running and you are simply able to execute scripts okay so i do recommend watching the video till the end as i said um, there are really crucial steps that you need to follow so you don't do any sort of uh, you don't do anything that simply breaks the executor and you you will basically have to re-download it okay so first things first i am on windows 11 this executor is supported from what i know on windows 10 that is a guarantee and of course i have tested it on windows 11 so it definitely works on windows 11 i'm not sure about any other operating systems it does not work on mobile uh, a lot of people have asked me if they can use it on the mobile it, you definitely cannot do that okay uh, I'm, I'm not sure why you guys think that is an option anyway um okay so first things first what you want to do is of course come down on this windows icon right here so if you're on windows 10 or 11 if you're on windows 10 of course it will be in this corner right here and of course if you're on windows 11 um it will be simply right here where i'm hovering over right now or you can simply click the windows key on your um keyboard and that will open this up as well okay so once you do come over here you simply want to search virus and threat protection this option should come up right here and if your screen does not look similar to what i've currently got up right now then you do have another uh, antivirus blocking the connection or blocking the original virus and threat protection from working so if it says something like uh, your computer is being managed by a third party software or something like that then you need to come down into the search box again go into your control panel go into uninstall a program and you need to find which antivirus you currently have installed and you need to simply right click it on and click uninstall the other option you do have is of course to simply go into the virus and threat protection or the other antivirus that you have on your computer and to just disable it but you kind of have to know how to do that yourself i can't really help you out with that because i use the default virus and threat protection on my computer so once you have done all of that and you're on to this menu right here go into manage settings and make sure you turn off real-time protection okay so this software is not a virus the only reason you need to turn this off is because it is a, a program that changes your roblox files it injects into your roblox uh, process and because of that your computer automatically removes it from your pc it, it is not a virus at all it simply goes into your uh, roblox process to be able to allow you to execute scripts okay so you should know that by now if you are um, you know if you used executors in the past so of course if this is on simply turn this off it might give you an administrator page and it might ask you to say yes simply click yes and you'll be good to go okay so there we go i've turned that off now then you want to go into the link that will be in the description um, it will look something like this so you should see the video at the top if you don't see it then you can simply search delta uh, so this is the previous one so there will be an updated version of this uh, once you do search up delta executor um, so for example if i go into this i click on download now the download link will be provided over here okay so you can simply follow the steps and you'll be able to download the delta executor from there okay um, so once you do click on download it will bring you to a page that looks similar to this uh, if you get this little prompt right here simply click on i am not a bot and go ahead and just simply fill that in then you want to click on free access right here once you do click on free access it will take you to this page where you simply click download executor or download delta executor uh, if it gives you an option to choose the file path just simply choose desktop or any other location that you can easily access 
then go ahead and click on save. If it did not give you the option to choose your file location or if it blocked the download, simply go ahead and hold down control and press J on your keyboard and it should open up like this. And then over here, you can just click and show in folder and that will show you the location of where it has downloaded, okay? Uh, and of course, if it has blocked the download, then you can come over to this page as well and just click on allow download. So I have downloaded it to my desktop. It's right here. So you just, you just want to go ahead and uh, launch the application like so. Go ahead and click on next. Over here, you just want to click on skip all. Um, that will skip all of the other offers and go ahead and click on open. Then you will be taken to the download page where, of course, you can just download the Delta Executor back to your desktop like I have done previously. Make sure your virus and threat protection is off. Otherwise, it will not allow you to download this. Next, you will need a program called WinRAR. It is a completely free program. I will leave a link to it again in the description. Once you go into the website and you go into the download page for the Delta Executor, you will find a link to download Vinra as well. Okay, so once you do have Vinra installed, the icon should look similar to this for the Delta installer. Once you do have Vinra installed, it should be like a bookshelf. If you don't see that, then just right click it, click on open with, and just go ahead and choose Vinra. If you do have exactly what I have currently on the screen, then just go ahead and click on, uh, or just go ahead and right click it, go down to Vinra, and go ahead and click on extract here. Once you do click that, it will ask you for a password. The password is simply Delta with the D being uppercase or capital. Then go ahead and click on OK. And you can see it has now installed. And you can see it says there is a virus that was found because my antivirus has been turned on automatically. So I can just simply go ahead and click on allow on device. Um, and I will go ahead and turn this off again. Um, once you do have the Delta installer installed on your computer you just want to go ahead and launch it and that will download all of the required files or delta executor and you can see it opens the website and the discord server which you can join if you do have any questions or any problems with the delta executor so now you can see a new folder has been created so what you'd want to do next is simply go ahead and drag the delta installer into the delta folder so it's all in one place then you can go ahead and delete both of these they are no longer needed and then we can go into our virus and threat protection once again, go into manage settings, scroll all the way down to exclusions, click on add an exclusion, and then choose a folder. Over here, just go ahead and find your Delta Executor folder. Make sure you don't double click it, just simply uh, click it once. If you do double click it, it will open up the folder, which you don't want to do. So just go ahead and click it once and click select folder. Then you can come back over to this page and then you can turn on your real time protection. Okay, so you, you'll be able to turn on your virus and threat protection again and there won't be any problems whatsoever. So now we do have all of the files required for the Delta Executor to work. You also have the scripts tab. This is where you can put in your own scripts that you want to use. It will show up onto the... All right, guys, here we go. So we're launching into Arsenal right now. You can see the auto inject taking place as well and for some reason i've got two of these open so let's go ahead and close out of that um and we have currently uh, injected into the game i didn't have to press inject i simply have auto inject turned on right here so you can see there's no required key nothing like that so i'm gonna go ahead and load up owl hub which is one of the most popular scripts for uh, arsenal so here we go it has now launched the script um these settings i wouldn't recommend for uh, owl hub just because they're really blatant um if you want to play a little bit more on the legit side i would turn off for example silent aim but you can see it is working completely fine uh, i'm not really required to do any sort of key uh, or anything like that either and let's go ahead and showcase a little bit of the script for you um so that's the silent aim in action right now I don't even have to lock onto them, for example, and it automatically kills them. Uh, again, I wouldn't recommend uh, these settings if you are looking to play Arsenal. Uh, I would definitely say turn off Sudden Aim because Sudden Aim, uh, it basically hits the enemy even if you don't uh, land your shots on their body, for example. 
so here we go yeah so this is pretty much the executor guys it is 100 working as of right now i have tested kernel uh, and kernel has not updated so it seems delta definitely update faster than kernel so i would definitely recommend them like i said i have made a video on the delta executor in the past uh, but i believe that was around seven months ago since then a lot has changed and i would definitely recommend this executor once again so that was the end of the video guys if you have enjoyed make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching